Along with development in the field of cryptocurrency, there are also more scams, hacks and exploits. And that's why securing a wallet is imperative to the safety of your funds and assets. Security is an extremely important topic that must never be forgotten. I know many examples when wallets with cryptocurrency assets were simply hacked and all the holdings were withdrawn. Therefore, it is highly recommended to put safety and risk management first. If you follow a few simple rules, such as never clicking any suspicious links, using different passwords and storing them in a safe place, and being careful overall, then in terms of security, you are already above most internet users. However, if we are talking about crypto assets, you have to be extra cautious as all your holdings depends on your security. And remember, that is not leaky wallets or leaky services that get hacked, but only you are always hacked. The reason for hacking is almost always the human factor. You stored your password unreliably, forgot it, lost it, did not think well, etc. I didn't have a person who could share his experience and help to understand the issue before one situation forced me to do it. This video can become your experience. Therefore, it is more logical to take care of the suspects in advance than to solve problems later, without giving the security issue the proper concentration. Learning from mistakes of the others is in every way better than suffering from your own, especially when they could have been prevented. Blockto is a down-to-earth mobile wallet and DR browser with minimalistic style, which aims to reduce the entry barrier to the new world of blockchain. With the help of Blockto, any user can begin to use blockchain applications irrespective of their prior technical knowledge. I already made two videos about Blockto, links to which will be in the description. To protect your crypto from hackers or any outside threat, it's important to understand the type of wallet options available and how to secure your private keys. You can use a non-custodial or custodial options to store your funds. It's a choice that is dependent on your personal preferences, both with pros and cons. Blockto supports custodial and non-custodial mode. In custodial mode, Blockto server manages the private keys for you and allows you to log in and interact with the blockchain via email without risking losing your private key. When you are familiar with managing your private key, you can also switch to non-custodial mode by account settings and non-custodial mode. You will receive your private key in an encrypted JSON file. Blockto will not be able to restore the account for you if you lose access to or forgot your recovery password. Let's now talk about wallet options in detail. With a non-custodial or self-custody wallet, you are in control of your private keys and your own cryptocurrency holdings. When using a non-custodial wallet option, you are fully responsible for remembering your private keys and maintaining security measures to protect your funds. If you forgot your private keys, you will be unable to access your cryptocurrency. No exceptions. Therefore, non-custodial mode is only recommended for experienced users. With a custodial wallet option, a third party, such as Blockto, is in control of your private keys. Many users prefer a custodial wallet, since you don't need to worry about storing or forgetting your private keys and permanently losing funds. This way, Blockto will assist you in managing your account, so it is the default and recommended option for newbies. Advantages of non-custodial mode In non-custodial systems, the user takes full responsibility in their key management. This is aligned with some of core values of blockchain. Decentralization and autonomous. No need to trust any organizations. Users have full control over their accounts. Disadvantages of non-custodial mode. Complex and intimidating, especially for beginners. If a user loses the key, nobody can help recover the account. If the key gets leaked, someone else will have full control over the user's account. Advantages of custodial mode. The main advantage of using a custodial wallet is that you can manage your funds very quickly and at any time when there is an internet connection. You'd be able to recover account access and your funds if you forgot the password to your wallet. Much simpler user experience. Similar to centralized systems. If a user forgets the password, there's always a way to recover the user's access. Custodial service operators usually have better security measures to manage the keys than non-tech savvy users. Disadvantages of custodial mode. The custodial service operator can be malicious. They may steal users' assets. The custodial service poses an appealing target for hackers. Any centralized system has the potential to be hacked. In Blockto, you also can add an extra layer of protection by enabling two-factor authentication, biometric, or switch to non-custodial mode. Here is how to do it. For custodial users, in custodial mode, you can enable two-factor authentication and biometric to add a second layer of security. Here's what you could do. 
go to the settings page in Blockta app on the bottom right corner and tap Security. Download Google Authenticator in Google or Apple Store. Click the Start it button. Blockta will send an email with a one-time password directly to your registered email account. Enter the password in the Blockta app. Now you are all set. For non-custodial users. In non-custodial mode, you have sole control of your private keys. Here is what you can do. Go to the settings page in Blockta app on the bottom right corner and tap Security. Click the non-custodial mode button. Type the recovery password and click switch. Attention! Once you switch to non-custodial mode, you can never change it back. You will receive an email with your private key key store on a JSON file. That's it. Remember, never share your recovery password and private key with anyone. I hope you got some useful information from this video. I tried to tell you about the security in the cryptocurrency industry in a simple way. But if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments. All important link will be in the description. Thank you for watching.